Hi everybody, it's Kim, former homeless veteran who's still being stalked, harassed, and food poisoned by an illegal corporate government stalking gang. And I'm here to talk to you today about a bad shopping experience that I had at Sendike's uh, Food Market at 1740 Miller Parkway in West Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53215. Uh, today I was in Sendike's and I bought several items, including some kumbacha. kumbacha. And uh, the kumbacha that I bought was tainted or poison. Uh, we're going to talk about poisonous drinks today and this was kumbacha was a is a very healthful drink and one of the very first drinks that was uh first items that i noticed that was poison on me and today it was live soda kumbacha is uh, what was poison so i'm trying to show you what the bottle looks like and if you can't see it uh don't worry about it it's also going to be posted on my uh, Pinterest pin board where I'm going to talk about more about the items that have been, the food and beverage items that have been poisoned and tainted. So today I was at Sendite's Market and I also bought a bottle of Revive Kumbacha uh, and I believe that's tainted also because it gave me a headache on that day. Anyway, talking about the first uh, two bottles of kumbacha that I bought at a Sendite's Market, uh, live soda kumbacha. I bought a ginger and a root beer. They were on sale two for three dollars. Uh, the other one was on sale for two for five dollars. Like I told myself before to be wary of sale items, especially kumbacha. So kumbacha was one of the very first items that was poisoned on me at a store I used to shop quite frequently before the food poisoning started happening. And that was Target's in West Dallas. Target's in West Dallas. And I had bought several bottles of kumbacha that day and returned them a few days later. So uh, I guess the ironic thing about it is that when I bought that GT's kumbacha, I'd also bought a bottle of this kumbacha, uh, the live soda kumbacha. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, but that's a kumbacha I really don't like that well. Once again, probably bought because it was on sale. So as I was leaving the store at about... 12.30 this afternoon, Central Standard Time, Sendites, I began to drink the kumbacha as soon as I got out of the store and I was taking my time and uh, packing up my food items. So about 15 minutes later, I noticed a headache and some shoulder pain and some neck pain and uh, how the kumbacha began to taste kind of strange. So there's a certain taste, unfortunately, a familiar taste with some of the poisons uh, that you might not notice at first, but then as you begin to continue to drink it and feel bad, uh, you recognize that the item is either tainted or poisoned because kumbacha is a health drink. It's normally not going to give you a headache, you know, or even a stomachache unless it's something that you're super sensitive to and it normally didn't used to bother me. So I immediately returned the kumbacha back to the store. It wasn't expired. Expiration date was one bottle was 12 3, the other bottle was 12 8, 2017. Hadn't opened the other bottle, so I just returned them both because I didn't want to take a chance on the other one. I uh, spoke to the manager briefly, told her I'd been having a problem with food and drinks, uh, gave her a brief notice of some of the problems that I'd been having and uh, talked to her briefly and she said, what well, is it, this particular item? And I just basically said, it's in every store I go in, read the note because I didn't want to talk to her too much longer. Uh, because three or four months later, three or four months prior, I'd actually uh, gave Sendikes the letter about the tainted items in store, actually the altered items. 
you know, basically the same letter that I've given several other stores. I would like to see racist corporate government stalked and stopped immediately. This new form of harassment and discrimination against law-abiding citizens of the United States of America is unlawful and must end that end now. Um, I'm just going to summarize this letter. Uh, the stalkers may already be in the store. The stalkers are often store employees. Um, as I said, uh, what was happening in the stores at first uh, was the items in your store or in your chain are permanently or temporarily removed, changed or altered in some way. When I first wrote this letter on January uh, the 21st, let's see when the first kumbacha poisoning happened. Okay, when I first wrote the letter and got it finalized, it was about probably around the same time that I had gotten that first batch of kumbacha from Target, which is GT's kumbacha and a particular flavor that I would always buy, even at Whole Foods and Outposts, uh, which are also implicated in this food poisoning because that was a place where I would go, even though I hadn't got poisonous food there yet, but they were stalking me when I would get kumbacha. So, kumbacha being one of the first drinks that I noticed that was tainted on me is also a, a drink that is good for, you know, stomach upset, settling your stomach, even food poisoning because it puts healthy bacteria back into your system. So, ironically, that was one of the first drinks that was poisoned on me. And me also buying a bottle of this, now seeing it on sale at Sendites, and it was also a bottle that I had uh, bought at Target. Um, the strange thing about the kumbacha at Target, GT's kumbacha, GT's kumbacha at Target, I had never seen on sale until that day that I bought it. Then when I bought the kumbacha at Target's in West, West Dallas and brought it to the counter, I didn't even know it was on sale because the sale price, it didn't say it was a sale. I think maybe the sale price might have been shown or might not have been shown. And when I brought it to the counter, um, it was on sale. Oh, so I said, oh, GT's kumbacha is on sale. And I drank that kumbacha and noticed it had a strange taste. And at first I thought it was coming from the live soda kumbacha, which had a taste uh, that I don't really care for that much, but sometimes buy it, uh, whether it's on sale or not, simply because it might be a little bit cheaper. It's a smaller bottle. So I said the GT teaspoon box is on sale, but, and it wasn't expired. Um, I believe I purchased it on 114 and I'm looking at the expiration date was 217. One was 25 and one was 217. So I said, it's on sale. Let me go back for more. Not realizing that the strange taste was that the kumbacha was tainted or poisoned. I thought it was from, you know, when you first get food poisoning, you don't always realize that the item that you're drinking or eating is what's causing you discomfort or has a strange taste. You might think it's from something else, or maybe I wasn't feeling that well, or what did I eat before? So I went back to Target for more kumbacha. And when I get there, uh, the kumbacha, I notice now the sale tags on it, and it's moved down to a lower shelf. So I buy a couple more bottles, and this time, when I get it home, I realize that that strange taste is not coming from something else. Something is definitely wrong with the GT kumbacha, and after drinking it, you know, the first time, I did not feel better like I normally Feel when I drank a GT kumbacha, you could drink it for stomach upsets or cold or anything going on with you. Actually, you know, felt worse. So, thinking that I'm gonna eventually feel better, I went back to get more and I didn't feel better. So, I returned that kumbacha back to 
turns. Now realizing that the GT's kumbacha has been tainted, I don't think I bought a GT's kumbacha since, and that was once one of my favorite health drinks. So from West Dallas to uh, Wisconsin, I mean West Dallas to West Milwaukee, uh, I would say that most of the kumbacha is going to be tainted. I even bought a bottle of Kavita kumbacha in Manaqua, Manaqua, Wisconsin, when I was at uh, Camp American Legion at Lake Tomahawk. Two bottles, and that was tainted. So I saved some of this bottle, and I didn't shake it up during the drinking. And I was drinking it, and I drank almost most of the bottle. Maybe a fourth of the bottle is left now. And, uh, and all of a sudden, I got a severe headache. And so I said, okay, this kumbacha is tainted. I put it down. I had bought two bottles of that kumbacha, the other one being lemon ginger. This one is lime, mint, coconut. And from that kumbacha, I didn't notice that it was tainted at first. And about 10 to 15 minutes after finishing that bottle of kumbacha, sometime I guess maybe I drank kumbacha. I don't know if I drank it fast or slow. I really can't remember. But it's something that I like, so I'm probably, you know, drinking it fairly fast unless I'm purposely trying to take my time drinking it. So after the first bottle of kumbacha, Kumbita Kumbacha in Manaqua, Wisconsin at the Walmart, uh, I guess they knew I was coming to Camp American Legion and might buy some kumbacha or maybe they just fucked up all the kumbacha. Anyway, about 10 to 15 minutes after drinking it, I got a severe pain in my stomach that eventually subsided. I probably had some home remedies and it. I don't know how soon it subsided, but I had had some sharp pains in my stomach and, uh, you know, I was sick on various items thereafter that kumbacha incident and coming from that Walmart. Um, now here we have uh, another bottle of kumbacha. Uh, revived kumbacha. I've never tasted this kumbacha before in my life, so they got all types of kumbacha coming up. A lot of these companies, they start out as uh, small, you know, in their garage companies, making a drink, selling it locally, and then going fairly big. And then eventually what they do, they sell out to corporate, or they sell out their product to Coca-Cola, who can now do anything, think they can do anything they want with the deal. They change it, taint it, or poison it. Or maybe this is a small company that's just, you know, under the influence of corporate interest. Remember the first time you heard that music, that sound that set your heart on fire, the first chord shook your ears. The brew, formerly known as the OG Revived Kumbacha's original brooch, the brew that spoke to us and changed everything. In the beginning, we were just a small family in a small garage, brewing and tasting and playing day and night. And now you fucked up my kumbacha. Because when I left the store, I said, let me start drinking after I took the other kumbacha back, I said, I'm going to start drinking this kumbacha uh, before I'm even out of here. And this kumbacha gave me some pains in my neck and also the same headache. And then I noticed the thing going on in my throat when something is, you know, tainted. Uh, pain in my throat and just... So I'm going to try this one more time and see if I've drank about half of it and I don't think I'm going to finish it. I'm going to take both bottles back because I'm not about to drink bad kumbacha. A fucked up batch of kumbacha could really, you know, fuck you up quick. But we're going to take a couple more sips, see what's really going on with it. headache, overall not feeling well, stomach queasiness, and take one more sip. Huh. 
pain going right through here. I remember pain in my mouth while I'm uh, drinking this kumbach earlier today. And when I took a break from the kumbach and then didn't take a sip of it until I got back home to let the other tainted product digest. Um, I had the pain through my mouth and my neck. And I don't care to finish this kumbacha. I believe it's tainted or poison. And I'm just, I'm still trying to get better off that fucked up food I got from the Bonnie's food market. So I'm not going to take any chances with this kumbacha. I know what healthful drinks are supposed to do for you and how you're supposed to feel from that. You don't feel sick, you feel better. You know, this is a drink that's supposed to give you energy, uh, help stomach upsets, you know, overall general good health. I'm not supposed to be having pain in my mouth and my neck right now from Kumbacha. It's going back to Sendai's market. So I just wanted to brief you on that, and I apologize for my videos being kind of long and drawn out. I'm going to try to keep them short and sh short and sweet, uh, but I'm going to be having more videos, like I said, about the food I got from the Bondi's Food Market that I was sick for a couple of days on. And any other food that I run into that makes me sick or is tainted or poison, in my opinion, um, I will let you know about. So that's Kumbacha from Sendike's Market, uh, Target in West Dallas, Sendike's Market, of course, in Milwaukee, and the tainted Kavita Kumbacha that I got in Manapa, Wisconsin at the Walmart. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good evening.